developments, a settlement is reached in a lawsuit filed to prevent the closure of Portage Manor. While those who filed the suit didn't get what they were hoping for, they will be paid some money to help with moving related expenses and new accommodations. Our own Monica Murphy has been following this story from the very beginning and joins us in the newsroom with more reaction tonight. Monica, you know, the lawsuit was filed against some county officials on behalf of four Portage Manor residents. The building is still slated to close on July 31st. Take a look. I would say that the families uh, involved in the lawsuit did everything to the best of their abilities to fight not only for their loved ones, but also for the other residents at Portage Manor. A settlement agreement was reached on Tuesday in a lawsuit that sought to stop the closure of Portage Manor. Residents and their families claim closing the building violates Indiana common law and will have an impact on residents' overall health and well-being. The settlement, however, says residents will have to move out by next Monday. The four residents named in the suit will receive financial assistance from the county to help with relocation and travel fees. Others were given uh, additional funds for the complexity of their loved one situation to help assist in the transition from Portage Manor to another facility. Residents and their families will be paid between $25,000 to $60,000. Roy Sines will get $60,000 to help his relative. It doesn't take long to figure out that if he does not qualify for some alternative payer source that we're going to go through that $60,000 really quick. Sign says the county missed out on a quote huge opportunity by deciding to close the building. It's a very needed resource and it, it's sad that uh, you know our elected officials chose to close it um, but that was their right you know instead of turning it into a role model for the country and how we deal with uh, mental illness and behavioral health. Portage Manor has served those with mental illness and disabilities for more than 100 years. And the payments will be made within 14 days of approval by commissioners. Commissioners will be providing a statement on this tomorrow. Melissa. All right, Monica Murphy reporting from the newsroom tonight. Monica, thank you.